Yo, what is up guys? It's the Miscredit Gamer here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the brand new magnet fruit that they just added in a One Piece game like an hour ago. Now, if you caught my stream last night, you'll already know how to do it and what everything looks like, but I'm also going to go ahead and give you a showcase as well today. So, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Really fast, guys, before we get any further into the video, I'd like to ask that you guys hit the subscribe button because only 3% of you guys are subscribed, and if you like my content and want to support my channel, in the description there's going to be two links. One is for a Roblox Game Pass you can purchase just to help me out a little bit so I can fund more giveaways in the future and another one is going to be a, a link for you to donate at to also fund future videos for the channel because I'd like to do more giveaways and whatnot and make sure to join my discord server while you're down there as well because we do giveaways there all the time and yeah that's really it so let's get back to the video the best way to get it I'd say is probably by fighting the boss on the new island like kid boss but you can also get it from the spins right here although I don't think you can see it right here right now let me do a quick spin just to see if I can see it go by and if I do I'll pop I'll like pause it on that that image and like blow it up just so you can understand what it looks like because right now there's not really any pictures of it that, that are out so that's probably the, the first way you want to go ahead and get it is by spinning especially if you're in the first sea that's the only way you're going to be able to get it the second way is going all the way over there to the second sea and going to the new island now i'll show you how to get there in a second but first i'm going to go over here to this little island and i'm going to give you guys a quick showcase of how much damage it deals all right so we're over here at this island now really so this is how much damage it does without without hockey without uh diablo jambe on and with max fruit stats as you can see here so let's go ahead and get to it so i'm gonna turn on observation on key. so our first move is called electromagnetic repel as you see you can build up like stuff here now i don't think the longer you hold it the more damage it does so you just hold it or you can just instantly release it and it does 110k which is pretty good honestly it's not terrible next we have electromagnetic rush it's going to also like pull stuff out of the ground which i think looks awesome you can see it connected to my arm there and it starts glowing and whatnot and that's really awesome or you can just push it and let it go instantly. I don't think it does more damage if you hold it in. It just looks cooler. And you let go and it pushes you forward. It's about 101k. It's not terrible. It's pretty good still. This is like one of the higher damaging fruits also. So next up we have Metallic Globe. This is one of my favorite ones personally. Because you just point wherever you want. Hold R. You hover over wherever you want to go. And then, boop, R, bam. Did about 146k, which is pretty good. That's like the most damaging move we've seen so far. And I'm going to wait for Smokey to respawn really fast. And then I'll show you the next two moves as well. And then we'll go over here and we'll test AoE on these guys. All right, so Smokey has respawned, which means we can go ahead and test out our next move. So we do this. Now, Doomed Punk is probably my favorite move just because, bam, it's a giant rail gun, okay? It's a giant gun that shoots out a giant blue bullet. And it's pretty cool. It looks awesome, honestly. This fruit is like hitting all the pluses in my book. It looks cool. Moves do pretty good damage. I mean, look, it's a giant railgun that just blasts people. There's 128k, so it's pretty decent. So next, we'll go ahead and we will test out the uh, Punk Gibson. Do this. You can hold it down for a while and build up the giant arm to make it to get that cool animation going. Or you can just let it go. You see there, it did 218,000. Of course, I'm going to let that cool down and show you what it looks like normally anyway. So I'll probably slow it down. All right, we'll go test AOE down here now, and also I'll show you a little bit of the cooldown. So the Q, let's see. Let me aim it, like, right here and see how good the cooldown is, or the AOE. But it's pretty good. It hit about here. It didn't hit these guys, so let me say aim it right about there. As you can see, the cooldown's already over with, too. So it hit all those guys. Honestly, it's really good AOE for that first move. Now, this one doesn't have much of an AOE, although if you can line multiple enemies up with it, so, like, if I was to aim in the middle of these guys right here, and I used E, it would probably let me run through all of them and do damage. Yeah, it's got a little bit of an AOE, but not much. So now, I'm pretty sure the globe the metallic globe is also really good in terms of aoe oh yeah it's it's really good it's got really good aoe as well right, and then punk gibson it's more like another one that reaches instead of in like an aoe kind of like this it'll reach more out like this but i think it can hit behind you as well so if i'm aiming like at these guys right in front of me will it hit these guys over to the side as well let's find out oh crap it does okay that is a lot of aoe yeah it's got really good aoe so now i'll go ahead and go to the new island in the second seat and show you where all that is and i'll come back to you when i'm there it's gonna take me a minute so all right so really fast before i actually go to the island i just want to tell you where it is really quickly if you know how to get to wano just keep going back behind it and that's where the island is so i didn't want to just speed me up going there because it takes forever i did switch to dragon for this because the fly is going to make it so much easier for me and plus i'm just going to kill a kid with dragon to afk him because dragon makes every boss so easy but uh yeah i'll go ahead and skip to when i'm there 
and I'll show you how to kill kid and kind of explain like what he drops because I know he has a couple of like accessory drops but there's not much about them right now I'll make another video about them as soon as I get more information all right so once you're right here like where Kaido spawns if you just look straight like back here you can see the island it's, it's not too hard to find it is super far away but you know how far away Wano is it's still behind it some so it's super far away but you see it in the distance and I'll cut to when I'm there all right so I'm finally arriving here now it does turn to nighttime as soon as you get in here when you get in here if it turns to nighttime don't be surprised because boom as you saw the nighttime I honestly like it I saw some people saying they didn't like it but I like it it adds a different vibe to it it looks cool in my opinion I love it shadows I don't know it just adds a whole other layer to this island that makes it look awesome in my opinion it just makes it look so cool first things first let's go set our spawn as we usually do because we just came all the way here we don't want to die and end up back at the spawn island the island is called Onigashima and it's really cool honestly I'm, I'm, I'm loving it so far so then what you want to do is you can come over here to this dude you can grab kid quest when you do complete it it gives over 1.5 bill now so like the amount of money you get has been increased once again so you can get money pretty easily at this point in the game you're in the second c so you shouldn't be lacking on money anytime soon so i'll activate my hockey i'll activate my diablo jambe i'll come up here and i will turn on observation hockey i'll transform into my dragon i'll try to use my f move sometimes it doesn't work right so it didn't work at all w we'll do all this to him i think dragon got a slight nerf i'm not gonna lie because it's doing less damage than it was earlier oh wait no that's because diablo jambe doesn't activate with it okay that's fine first kid so you can just sit up here and spam your q kill him you'd probably go dip down use your r and then dip back up and same with like your f you could do that just run back up when you're done i'm gonna go ahead and speed through killing him really fast just so you can see all right well as you can see i killed him it didn't take that long at all honestly he's pretty easy he's easier than kaido 100 percent and i got 1.5 bill at the top if you did, if you saw that too i mean you get a lot of money honestly it's really good now i know he drops a cape and i think his goggles is like a face accessory not 100 percent sure about that i as soon as i know more information about it though i will like make a video on how to get his accessories or all the accessories on this island because there are some there's another thing here that drops some kind of like drop as well i can't remember what it was but i heard through the grapevine that there's a couple things that drop here so depending on what i showed first if i haven't yet shown the showcase i'll show it here after this point or if i have showed it then thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like it's greatly appreciated have a great Great day guys and I'll see you next time. Peace!